His podcasts are hilarious. It's him and Jason Muse. Mm-hmm. Jason Muse is the blonde dude. The blonde dude. Going with long hair. Who does apparently copious amounts of drugs. Or did copious amounts of drugs. No, he doesn't do drugs anymore. He um, He's just addicted to coffee and caffeine. Uh, what the hell? Like a lot? <laughs> But he, when James so like, Bob first came out, he was, like... Yeah, he was really into drugs. But now he's, like, he does four shots of espresso, goes, and then does whatever Jason Mewes does. And does so like, four does shots it, of espresso. Does espresso actually get you, like, hyper? Yeah, yeah it does. Do you not drink espresso? I don't have... Like, see, I, I can't really do caffeine anymore, but mm-hmm. I used to, like, have, like, my hands would shake if I wasn't taking caffeine. Wow. That, my friend, is calling addiction. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten to that point yet. And so, like, about six months ago, I, like, cut out pretty much every source of caffeine. Like, I'll have a root beer like, every now and then. Soda? I mean, I drink soda, but I won't drink caffeine soda. I'll drink, like, Sprite. Wow. Or, like, Wait, Sprite does have caffeine. Sprite's caffeine-free. Really? Yep. What about 7-Up? I don't know. I don't drink 7-Up. Squirt? That just sounds weird. Right, I'm not going to drink bro. squirt. Say it. Say you drink squirt. I drink squirt. <laughs> <laughs> I love squirt, man. Mm-hmm. I'm not drinking it. Um, <laughs> it's like the same reason I won't drink those skinny Gatorade bottles with the ribs and like the tip because they look like penises with rib condoms on them. Wait, what? Like, remember those Gatorade bottles that look like... Like the Propel or whatever? They look like this. With the with the ridges on the side and then the top oh, is yeah. tapered at yeah, the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like I won't drink those because mm-hmm. they look like penises. Wow, that's a good excuse, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, it's just. Let me see that. It's in Japanese. Yeah. Can you read it? Well, it's written in the back. Oh. Like, on the bottom. And I drew pictures. I drew those pictures. You you actually wrote that? No, oh, she wrote that. Oh, she wrote that. Oto-san. As you can tell. Oka-san. My handwriting Oni-san. sucks. So you, like, on Oni-san. Japanese, you pretty much have to, like, memorize the characters. Yes. Yeah. That sucks, dude. Well, and I'm taking there's, a- like, um, it's katakana, hiragana, and kanji. The, oh, the things you were telling me that there's, like, different types? Yeah, yeah they've got two alphabets and then one s- series of words. Those katakana is used to write words in English. Mm. I don't know, like, I'm not you, an expert. There, it's like, used to write words that don't have original Japanese sound. Okay. Yeah. So, like, words from other languages. So, like, mm-hmm. if you did French, you had French words, you'd write them in katakana. And everybody knows, like... Well, well, they have different to do types it. of Japanese. Like, do Japanese people actually know like all the yeah. different types? So, like, we, say, their, say Japan, their alphabet has ninety-two letters versus wow, no, a hundred and whatever forty-six times two is. Yeah, ninety-two. <laughs> ninety-four. Wow. God, what's my fucking alphabet? 40, yeah, ninety-two. I was right the first time. <laughs> it's two <laughs> sets of forty-six, and then kanji. There's like over two thousand. A kanji is um, Chinese. It's a yeah. It's, it's a, they it's take they from take the Chinese some, some Chinese uh, mm-hmm. characters, but it's like they represent things. It's like American okay. English. Yeah. Like, like a character represents something. So like like uh, hieroglyphics. Mm, partially. Okay. It's like if hieroglyphics used words to mean things. Isn't that what they do? They are words that mean things. Mm-hmm. But hieroglyphics are pictures that mean things. I have a Japanese book in my bag. I'm going to go get it. I put my book on my phone. My teacher keeps asking me where my workbook is. I'm like, it's right here. It's right there. <laughs> like, I'm not checking it. my text. I'm looking at my my book. And then so like I showed her and like I did. It's like I was going to pay the... 50 bucks for the book. I just went online, downloaded it, downloaded the workbook, and it's got the CDs for it. Really? All on torrent. I downloaded it for like, it's like a 1.9 gig torrent. It's got oh my 